Hey there and good afternoon. Friday the 20th of December. Now I know that many of you will already be looking at breaking away and this may be the start of your Christmas break and maybe start of a couple of days off between now and New Year. So I'm hoping that you're, you're really in the right mindset and the right mood to be thinking about how the year has gone for you and also how the potentially how 2020 could go for you. Remember, these Facebook Lives are all about conquering 2020. You know my story, two marathons, two books. That's what I'm planning to do. And I know that you've got a heap of potential that you can fulfil to create what is great for yourself. Now, Many times, you know, I come across this quite often, that people don't set goals and they still seem to achieve some pretty good things in life. And, you know, I'm not saying that that's not possible. I'm not saying that at all. Things will happen and can happen and do happen with or without a goal-setting process. However, what a goal-setting process does is actually increase our likelihood. So many people will accomplish things without goals. But imagine what they could accomplish if they had goals, if they had some structure, if they had a roadmap on what it is that they were setting out to achieve. Because this is what setting goals and conquering 2020 is all about. It's not necessarily about the times where we've managed to have success in our life, in our career, in our business, without the need for setting goals. It's not about those times. Congratulations if that has been the case. But it's when we set an intentional goal and put in a path and a plan and a roadmap that sets us, uh, increases our likelihood of success. It sets us up for that pathway to success. And the key to making goals work is to have a plan and a process. It's not about making them unreachable. It's not about making them unrealistic. It's about really setting out, understanding clearly what it is that we want to accomplish and finding that structure, finding the path, finding the ways to map around those roadblocks that's going to help us achieve. It's important not to waste our time as well. It's important not to be setting ourselves goals that we simply will never achieve. You know, I would always love to be an NRL rugby league player. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen now. So setting a goal like that is going to be something that will just simply fail. So it's about setting up ourselves for success, thinking about those goals that are really, truly, dearly passionate within us, thinking about you know, those seven or eight different areas of our lives where we want to get better, whether it's relationships, whether it's in our life, whether it's in our business, whether it's in our spiritual capacity, whether it's in our financial sense. There's seven or eight key quadrants there in our life that we should be thinking about what does that look like at the end of the year. And this is why your Pivotal Year is such a a fantastic program. Now, I've put this together to go for the full 12 months, so 365 days. And for much of the first month, we'll be working through some of those seven or eight segments that we have in our lives to determine what are going to be, for you to determine what are going to be those goals that you set out to achieve. This is not a let's think of a goal and make it happen style workshop. This will be something that we do over those first that first month. So, so you can deeply understand how your goals aligns with the purpose and the vision for what it is that you're wanting to achieve. Because we know that 
in our lives as we reach goals and as we set ourselves up for success, our self-confidence increases. And in many ways, when we don't have that self-confidence, we start to doubt ourselves. We start to create our own self-limiting beliefs. And this is why, <laughs> just another reason why we want to step into the realm of goal setting and goal achieving. Because the more that we can break down those major goals, the more that we can stay disciplined and intentional with a framework of support and direction, the greater the chance of success. And this is why your pivotal year will take your achievement to the next level. We don't just operate on that first goal that pops out of your head. We work through that for the first month. I've talked about that. To actually determine the best and most important goals for you to focus on in all segments of your life. This is a full 365 degree, sorry, 365 degree, 365 day program. And it's been designed to give you the very best chance of success. It's more than simply intention. We all intend to do good things in our lives. We all intend to do something better. We all intend to to take that next step up. We do that. We all have that intention. But that intention um, can't work unless we put a process in behind that, a process of action, and that's what's important to define research, we've defined the, we've researched, we've invested the time in defining the best process for you. And when we align that with that group and individual coaching, so you're going to have your own cheer squad and you're going to have your own coach, what else is there to be thinking about other than where do I sign up? I'm really looking forward to having you on board with your pivotal year ahead and how you can conquer 2020 to make sure that it's one of those lives, I'm sorry, one of those years that will ultimately change the direction of your life. I know that. I've got absolute faith in you in achieving that. But you need to hurry. There's a link in the description of this particular Facebook Live or however you're listening to this, there'll be a link in the description applications will close on January the 7th. So please take the time, follow the link, check it out. This stuff works. This stuff works. Process, guidance, support, all designed to help you conquer 2020. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Spend some time thinking about what a, what value can you place on making 2020 the, the pivotal year that you need. I'll see you on Monday. Bye for now.